Welcome to the next topic and in this topic we will going to discuss about tuples. So tuples are similar to the array that we discussed earlier and the main difference there are basically two main difference. The first main difference is about the declaration. So for example you have seen we have declared the variable of array like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's what we discussed in the previous video but in case of tuple so let's say t1 is what I, if I need to declare first of all it will be a parenthesis and not the square bracket and then I can go ahead and specify the values so if I declare execute this it will take some time because I have restarted this particular notebook so now it has given me the output 1 2 3 4 5 in the bracket if you remember in case of an array like this if I execute a1 over here it will be a single column that's what we have seen so that's basically the first difference between the tuple and array the second most difference which is the very important difference is tuples are immutables that means you cannot change the value of tuple once you have declared or once you have uh, initialized it to some value right so let's see this first of all let me change the value of uh, array and let me change it to the first value which is this to 6 if i do that its value is changed and if i press a1 6 2 3 4 5 so value of 1 over here is changed to 6 now let's try to do it for tuple in a same way so t1 again if you want to change it it will be in a bracket like this so there is no difference and 6 right it will throw us an error yes no method matching set index this 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 what it in a nutshell it is saying or in a layman language you cannot reassign a new value to a existing tuple so in this case the value will always be 1 2 3 4 5 for the respective index which are 1 2 3 4 5 and that's those are basically the two differences that you have and the reason why you have tuples is scenarios like things which don't change over a period of time for example maybe company name maybe the department name or maybe some of the product names their na their new product lines or those new product names will come but the core you know values that you have will never going to change so just to make sure that in the program nobody is overwriting that or nobody is making a mess with the data you may want to declare a tuple so that your data is cons consistent across the web pages or the applications wherever your database is being used for the performance of computation or displaying the value apart from this most of the methods are very similar to array as you could see the assignment is pretty similar what we have done in case of array and in case of tuple also if you want to access the index one two three you can get it if you want like array three two and you can get it apart from this you can have the 2d or two dimensional tuple so within the bracket we will add one more bracket 1 comma 3 2 comma 5 and if we execute it it will be a two dimensional array or oh, i'm sorry the two dimensional tuple in scenarios like which is bit complex and you may have a requirement where you want a two dimensional tuple and the way you access them is also a little different so for example t21 what it will give me 1 comma 3 but what if if i want to access 3 so what i need to do is after t2 so let me write it again t2 1 and then element 2 so from the first tuple get me the element number 2 which is 3 also you have named tuple for example let me just come up so that you can clearly see and let me just increase the cell size i think that will be much better for you for viewing i'm sorry that i did not do it earlier right so now much better and if i just go up and now let me sh show you one example so we have uh, we all have studies uh, studied in the school and we have got the marks and those marks will never going to change in our future so isn't it tuple is a right way of storing those things right so let's try to do that and first of all 
let's see signs so we got 90 out of 100 maths we got 95 out of 100 i never got it but just to be honest and uh, science math and english uh, let's say we got 75 out of 100 well that's what i got in the higher secondary oops what mistake i did math science maths and english don't have the equals to sign okay so we are good so we have declared a named tuple where we are clearly saying what does science have what numbers we have got in math what number we have got in english and now accessing them become really really simple if i say marks dot science oops sci 90 comma dot uh, 90 comma 100 marks dot and i press tab i get math so pressing a down arrow not the i'm not using the mice but up down arrow that i'm using and now i want to see maths and i can see math so very nice and efficient way if you have the named tuple for your um, for storing the data or for storing the values now let's add marks to just to show you how you can merge two tuples and marks two has um let's say social or maybe history not one of my favorite subject um we got 80 out of 100 never got it and uh, and let's say um sports period or in sports got let's say 85 out of 100 okay let's execute this let's execute now just to merge it we will use the merge function so merge marks comma marks to if you want to store it in object you can store it but just for the example here is your merged tuple so scenarios wherever you need to merge it you can merge it very easily like this and all of your um all of your marks are here so merge can be very useful let's say if you have a lot of different classes you want to merge them together a lot of different students you want to merge them together so just see how much applicable the merge will be in scenarios like once once it becomes so bigger like you want to maintain it for the entire school and uh, you are getting the values in tuples in bits and pieces so that's about it uh, how you can use the tuples within the julia and i hope uh, it has given you some perspective about uh, what what it is and why to use it and that's about it in this topic and i will meet you in the new topic uh in just in the next video